Yeah, so what's up folks? Yeah, so today I was feeling a bit low, so you know I thought to myself I need some nice food fish, some fish soup, you know, to bring back my, my levels up. So I went out and I got some stuff. So today today I'm gonna prepare a bit of fish soup. Let you see how I do it here in uh, in London, UK. Yeah. Jamaican style. Right. So this is what I I sh I went out and buy today down in um, down in Darlston in Hackney, East London, Darlston Market. Get some Caribbean stuff. And so we have. We have um, pumpkin soup mix. This is how I make the soup. The fish tea tastes nice, you know. The fish tea soup. You know, fish tea soup mix. You get me? Made with real fish. So, then we got a bit of coconut milk powder. I put a little bit of this inside. You know, give it a good little coconut flavor, like tropical flavor in the soup mix. Scallion, we call them scallion back in back on the island. Over here I think we call them a spring onion. We got some okra, we got a, we got one pepper, it's cash bonnet pepper. And then we got some okra. Or a few okra. My okra is really good. It's good for your nerves and stuff like that. Your nervous system, you know. We got some um, water crackers. These are like biscuits. They're very hard, they're like hard biscuit, they're like rock. But these taste nice in a fish, fish soup, in a fish tea. These taste nice. We got some green banana. Yeah. Yeah, man, green banana. Where this come from? Product of Colombia. So this coming from Colombian, Colombian green banana. Some cocoa. So this is like a, this is like an earth food. You grow underneath the earth. You know, similar to how um, potatoes grow. We got some yellow yam. This, you see this? Yellow yam. Same earth food. Bay, iron, and you know what I mean? All them different metallic minerals that in the earth. They instead of this thing. So when you eat this thing, you know, you get the all them iron, the calcium, all these different minerals that your body needs to survive. You know? inside these things and these things are organic stuff straight from Jamaica so I guess good stuff no um, fake business and we got a bit of I think this is a white yam a bit of white yam so we got yellow yam and we got white yam you know? so this one is a bit soft soft yam and, and that's it for the food bit and now we got the the fish and stuff so we got fish and we got shrimp. Yeah, so we got we got two different types of fish. We got snapper. Here yeah, we got red snapper. And we got one called some form of mullet. Figure out where it's called, but the man said good for soup. So it's good um, for cooking fish soup. So I got that one. And I got some shrimp. Yeah. Boy, fish is very expensive in in London man. So we got I'm gonna show you the fish and tell you the cost. These are the, the shrimp. They look fresh. And so yeah. Shrimp. You go inside the fish soup. Alright, so I get a container. I'm gonna show you the fish and stuff. So we have four fish here. Well it's two different kinds. So this is the snapper. The man cut the, the fins off, you know. I like when the fins on because the fin has lots of oil and stuff in it but he cut it off and I didn't I told him too late but anyway fish have all for oil so, so you know, it's not a big deal we got snap on we got some form of mullet fish very very meaty fleshy very chunky fish lot of, lots of meat on it so but basically we're gonna um, cook the fish first in, in water with some garlic and stuff 
and then we're gonna take the meat off the fish because you can't you can't you can't just cook these fish in the soup because these fish has bare bone, bare little small bones inside it. And if you're drinking a soup and one of these little bones gets stuck in your throat, you know, it's not nice. So we're gonna um, boil the fish, get it to get um, to get the fish very soft. Then we're gonna strip the meat off the bones, and then we're gonna use that meat now to make the fish soup. And the water that we boil these fish in, we're gonna reuse that water to make the soup because all the oils and the minerals from the the river or the sea where these fish come from is inside these fish and we need those minerals. The body need the body need those minerals so we can't waste that bit so the boil we use reuse that water. Yeah We got a couple of seasoning and stuff for me. I already have so we're putting black pepper and things. Yeah. A couple of seasoning, so we got our purple seasoning. We'll probably put a little bit of that inside. Yeah, we need some time as well. This one grown cinnamon. No, coming brown. I can't use that one. Fajita. That. Yeah, grown black pepper, we need some of that. And Caribbean mango guava magic. Yeah, we probably, no man, I touch, put some of this inside of Caribbean stuff. I think we got some fish seasoning up here, but it looks very. Yeah, fish. It's expensive in England, man. Look, these four fish. Ten pound them charge with these four fish. You know? They're not even that big. But yeah. What can Jamaica go over catch fish or go to sea? Catch these things free. But yeah. So it goes up. Alright, so. Wash them up nice. I put them in the pot. We got four fish inside. Eh? No, but I put some water in. I don't want to put too much water because I'm gonna reuse this water to cook the fish too, the fish tea. So I'm guessing I bought this should be should be okay. Come on, I bought this. This amount should be fine. Yeah, so we got the we got a fish on the stove. So now this one get boiled. I'm gonna put some garlic inside it. Got some garlic here. We really. we'll use. I just want a little bit of garlic. I need a lot just to make it. You know. Make it have a bit of flavour me while it's um while it's boiling. So yeah, I've got probably just gonna use two peg. Just two, two um, peg or cube or whatever it is. I got it. We can put it inside there. So I cut them off uh, big. Stick them in. Need a knife. Is 
and imported garlic. Chunky. Big chunky fat garlic. Garlic is very uh, big, 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 very nibbly. But yeah, so we have the two big um, bear garlic. We're just gonna slice them in the middle and put them in. Big. Now, now they really mince them up and big. Like that. We put them in. And then. Turn the stove on and put it to full blast, full heat. Full heat. Now let this cook down and get soft up. Alright, I need to show you the shrimp. We got 18 shrimp for 4 pounds. That's not too bad still. Yeah, we got some shrimp. We're not gonna we're gonna put the shrimp in when we're cooking the fish soup. So we, the shrimp going after or we, we just softening up this fish and stuff. Put them inside this pot. We're not ready to um, put them in the fish tea. I'm ready. So now I'm gonna, um, these are the okras. I'm gonna wash these off and cut them a bit. Put them in half as well. So I'll have to do a couple, put in half, like that. And you can see the seeds. Seeds slowly. Put them in the container. So. Not all of them, but you know, we cut them like that. Little slices. These now we're blending and mash up inside the soup. Make it rich. So now we're gonna peel these yam because meanwhile the fish is cooking and getting softened up. I'm doing all these little prepping stuff, you know, so I'm not wasting any time. Peel this yellow yam. Take this water off. Waste the water. But yeah. Whoa. I kind of waste the yam. Look all them. The skin too thick, man. But so it go. 
So how we do it is that you know you rip them off and cut the head like that. You cut the bottom like that. You then make a slice from the top. If you can see that clear, you make a slice on the top go right in. Yeah. Like that. Make a slice too thick. But yeah. So you make a slice at the top, one at the bottom, and you make a long slice, not too deep. Just the pine, just tip of the knife, as thick as the skin. You can easily um, peel these green bananas like this. Take the green skin off. So this is the same banana that turned right. You, know, you put this down a couple of days to turn it right. It becomes sweet. But now when it's green like this, it has no sweetness. It's just starch. Way many years, even in England, it's not a regular thing to cook up Jamaican style stuff because you have to go a special place to get these things. It's not, it's not a lot of shops sell these things, it's a special area you have to go in. And Britain is a busy place, the fish should be soft by now. See that? There's steam. Fuck up the camera. So these are the cooked fish. Try not to break them up too much because. See that fish head? See the head boil out. There's nothing left. Soften up. Now, I'm going to use a fork and get off all the meat, the meat bits, still a bit hot, so then get off all the meat, the bit will hot on, and stick that over there, get rid of the bony bit. You see, you see if the man didn't cut the fins off now, I could have easily pull out this bit. That's the reason why I didn't want them, want them to cut the fins. And also the fins have a lot of oil in it. I'll show you about here. I'm sorry, it out as best as I can to flesh a bit off. These bones, it's very hot, so I'm gonna take a break and come back to this. Yeah, so now I took a break from the kitchen and the garden now drinking a Red Bull while the let our fish cool on a bit. It's a bit hot. Can't really um, get the bones out nice and easy. I let that one cool down while I sip on a Red Bull and smoke a, a rolly and then I'll tackle that in a bit. Yeah, I'm on. So today the weather is not too bad. It's not hot. 
Like it's not cold. It's, in, it's nice and cool. If Britain had this weather that like we're having right now, 24/7, this country would be extra nice. Yeah, man. But yeah. Tobacco. No weed. Yeah, so can't wait for that fish soup to finish and get to eat that fish soup and drink it down. So you now, a hundred percent after I finish eat that, I'm gonna feel a lot better, man. You know, I can predict the feeling. It's a feeling I had before, right? eat good food and you know what you know because you have ate that food before you know what that food make you feel like it's like so for instance for me if I eat rice and peas and beef yeah that make me feel lazy after I finish rice and peas and beef and carrot juice that make me feel lazy I just want to sleep but it's at all the feeling it gives me tastes good love it when I eat like the vegetables and stuff like you know steamed veg cabbage and them things that gives me a lot of energy when I finish eat the I just feel energetic to drink fish tea back in Jamaica but when I finish drinking a fish soup I just want to go to the river and swim yeah chill out and swim Probably after I drink this fish tea, I probably have to go to the swimming pool and take a swim. Deep bone the fish. That's it right there. And the juice. Deep bone fish. Pour this in. Get some more water. Mix. Shrimp in. About 18 shrimps. I think I put too much, um, maybe there's too much yams and stuff in there. You know, look. The pot is almost full. There's no room for the shrimps. Okra. Okay. 
Then you stick over oh wait, hold on. Should I put this in first? For about it doesn't matter. The coconut milk. Coconut milk on it. Nice coconut blend. I don't use spoon, I just judge it by my eyes. It's a guesswork, you know. So this lemon should be alright. Trim start to change. Start to turn orange already. Orange color shrimp. Very careful because we don't want this pepper to burst. We get broken inside. We just want the aroma to make it. So we just leave that on top, let it flow. Then we'll put our spring onions in. Just like that. Spring onions, again, is just for flavoring. I'm not going to eat it. That's it doing its thing. I have it on full heat, so now I'm gonna turn it down because I don't want it to burn. Turn this down. About five. Off. And let this gently cook. And that's it for now. I almost forget the main ingredient. The main ingredient is very simple and basic. is salt. Uh, and I'm, I put a bit of black pepper and stuff inside. I forgot about that. So one of the main basic ingredients is salt. The fish has salt in it and stuff, but we still need a bit more salt to balance it out. To balance that flavor. Usually I store in the salt and then taste it. But I'm just gonna judge. I'm gonna judge the amount for now. I don't want it to be salty, so put this amount of salt, this is about a teaspoon. A teaspoon amount of salt, so put that in. I'm gonna stir this up a bit. I should stir it, I should put the I put a bit of black pepper in. I put a bit of black pepper. Not too much. Pepper green. And uh, I'm 
by this I said yeah Caribbean mango guava I'm gonna put it this uh, yeah this side there so I'm bring up the taste buds a bit a bit of guava mango so it's a tropical thing so yeah so I put a bit of that well I'm just gonna put inside there got some fish fish seasoning so a bit of that inside there. Not too much more than that. A teaspoon work. Got a bit of rosemary gum. You know a tiny bit of rosemary ain't gonna harm nothing. So put a little bit of rosemary in there, sprinkle a little bit. Not too much. need some time but the thing is I forgot to buy time. I thought I had some dry time stir the pot up a bit and I'll stir it up and everything blends nicely some of the fish on the top see that all the fish at the bottom Yeah man, tastes nice. Real fish taste. Fish soup. We add not add a bit of butter. Put a bit of butter inside. Yeah, this is cooking down. Yeah, so after a bit of work, that's the soup. Fish, fish tea soup, steam up, steam up my lens. <laughs> 